My name is Josh Olin. I'm the community manager at Treyarch Studios. The first downloadable map pack that Treyarch's going to release for Call of Duty World at War is Map Pack 1. It's going to ship with three multiplayer maps and a new Nazi zombie level called uh, Verrucht. It, it, it means crazy in German. And uh, the zombie level is based off of the multiplayer map Asylum. It's going to pit four players against the familiar legions of undead uh, Nazis. And it, it differs a little bit from your first mode, however, in that there's a little bit more of a progression now. So in the first Nazi zombie level that shipped with the game, the only goal was to survive as many waves of zombies as possible. Now, that's still your end goal. You still want to stay alive as long as possible, but there's a lot more that you can do in the world. You start off with just a pistol. Uh, if you're playing with four players, they're going to be split up two and two. And you want to work towards a, a power room. There's going to be a room that has a power generator in it. You need to turn that on. There's going to be many different layers, many different doors standing between you and the power generator. And you're going to have to work up the points as a team in order to unlock these doors and eventually make it to this, this generator. Once you turn on the power, it's going to enable the protocol machines as well as the electroshock defenses. So then you can either backtrack through the, the path you took or you can continue on and uh, you're going to actually meet up with, um, with additional switches to turn on the electroshock defenses. And uh, you're not going to get points for that, but what it will do is sort of block off a flank point. Uh, the zombies aren't going to be able to attack at you from, from certain angles if you have that blocked off. So um, it's going to be used as more of a tactical utility uh, for the player uh, as they attempt to survive as many ways as possible. I think it's going to create a much more fresh atmosphere for the players. The zombies in Peru are going to behave a little bit differently as well. You're going to see the animations have changed a little bit. They're going to move a lot faster at times. They're going to be able to attack you a lot quicker. It's not going to be have as much delay between each strike. Also, as they're tearing down the boards, what you're going to see is they're going to actually reach through the board and actually attack you before they break through. Uh, so you're going to you're, just the different zombie behaviors are really going to, I think, catch the player off guard the first time they encounter them. The Percocola machines in Verrucht are going to uh, give you perks which will last with you until you go down again, until you actually die. And uh, there's going to be four different Percocola machines. Each one is going to dispense a different perk. You're going to have Double Tap, which is going to increase your rate of fire. Um, you're going to have Sleight of Hand, which will increase your rate of reload, which uh, is, is very critical in, in the, the fast-paced action that you, you have in Nazi Zombies. Uh, you'll have fast revive. Um, it's going to increase the speed at which you revive your, your opponent. And you're also going to have Juggernaut, which is going to increase your health, just like it does in MP. And uh, personally, if I had to recommend one of the, the, the best perk in, in Baruch, it's going to be Sleight of Hand. Uh, there's nothing more important than being able to reload those shells a lot quicker. Call of Duty World at War Map Pack 1 is going to be available on March 19th at the PlayStation Store and Xbox Live Marketplace. It's also going to be available on the PC platform uh, at a later date.